flagship platform, a wellhead. Of course, um, deactivated. It's no more working. And this is the point of um, another discovered point of crude oil export via the offshore. Uh, interesting how uh, they have left just having to tap the major lines and cook it in the communities as it were. This is major skill exports on quantifiable number of liquids, on quantifiable number of crude that leaves um, this point where vessels just come latch on and the connection is coming all the way from a, from a 48 inch Focados line where they have made an incision traveling all the way through that um, linear line. Uh, tapped it into an existing Egypt line that isn't functional, uh, but the pipes are there. Um, actually, where we are, sends crude back for processing. So that line is what they have used in terms of reverse or reversal to now use as an export line. Smart one, but I mean, smart criminality, you would say, and that has cost the nation to the point where even the federal government is now um, raising an onslaught against crude oil theft. Let, let's talk to um, the head of the security guys that are here who actually helped in um, discovering this, um, the Tantita guys, the private security that has been engaged by the federal government. You can see crude dri dripping. It means that this is active. The stealing is active. So um, when people tell you they've just discovered a line like this, it gives, um, it gives away a lot in terms of doubt. Uh, help us, sir. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Phillips. Um, as you already noted, um, the line, uh, the criminals connected um, to a 48-inch export pipeline from Shell, uh, Shell Terminal in Ogula, Focados Terminal, and they bring it here. Like you rightly explained, it is connected to an Egypt, Egypt pipeline that has not been used for quite some time now, and it comes here. Look at this place. Um, please, can you go back a little? You can see that there is a valve here. Yeah. Okay. When they come, they connect their flanches here. When they connect their flanches here, they take it down to the ship where the ship will be below. And kind of like a hose. Like a hose, yeah. A hose. Yeah. They connect a flange and they connect a yeah, hose, a hose to, to, the flange. to the flange. To the flange. Then, the then they do. Look at this. What they do is this serves like a seal. Yes. They put for this leak. here for leak. And so, so when they bring the other seal here, you see that this is what gives this kind of gap that yes. you see on yes. the seals here. Yeah. So when they do this, they just take the hose down and they load their ship. Now, how long has this been? From our intel, this has been over three years to five years. And the last time somebody discovered this was about three years ago. And they told us that they reported this to Shell. Of course, um, I don't know if Shell will want to agree to that, but we were told that they reported this to Shell like three years ago. They say that um, the sea, the ocean, uh, gives you an endless opportunity in terms of commerce. This same ocean, this same blue economy has served the economy of crude oil thieves. And mindless way of doing this in such manner that if you didn't have to engage to the point of this discovery then it tells you the quantum on quantum of crude and barrels that leave this country undetected on 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 quantifiable and unaccounted for it's a deactivated uh, well help but those that should know should uh, quickly fix this and let's see how much that can be ramped up in terms of bringing back the crudes from the Egypt terminal here offshore for Cados, Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.